So I did a uh, poll on Twitter talking about like if I should do more of these hacker videos and stuff like that. And everybody voted yes, so I'm going to do one talking about ransomware. Because I wrote a 10 page essay on this a while ago, so I'm just going to read off some of the things. So, I mean, it's, I'm not going to make it too long, I'm just going to talk about like the five different types of it. Yeah, I, I, I did five different ransomwares in 10 pages. And it's like on a document thing. If you want me to send you a picture of it, uh, DM me and I'll try and like record myself scrolling through it and send it to you. But seriously, this took me a long time to do. So first, we're going to talk about CyProlocker uh, or something like that. C-R-Y-P-T-O Locker. So it's that. I don't know how really to say it. So basically what it um, affected, like who it affected, was people who used email and uh, had Microsoft Windows systems running either Windows 8, Windows 7, Visa, or XP. So this was a while ago, it was a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and basically it uses social engineering techniques to trick the user into running it. So the victim would receive an email with a password protected zip file claiming to be from like a big company or something. And the Trojan, which is like the software, gets run when the, op uh, the user opens the attached zip file by entering the password, like included in the message. And whenever it, and, and, and it opens basically the PDF that's in it, and it, it takes advantage of Windows behavior of hiding the extension file name to disguise the real, like what it really is instead of just a PDF. So they wouldn't think it's like something that actually runs something. And as soon as the person like runs the PDF to open it, the Trojan or the software goes to the memory resident on the computer and just starts hacking away. Okay, so next we're talking about KeyRanger. Basically what it, it was on the Mac ransomware thing. So it only affected people with Macs. And basically it tampers with the user's access to their Macs and force them to pay their pay money to get their all their files back. Like it encrypts their files so they can't get into them at all. And uh, the only way you can really get this is downloading the Transmission BitTorrent client, which was one of the most popular applications used to download games, movies, music, and other media. So if you didn't download that, you'd probably be fine. But to see if you were hacked or like had this thing on your computer, you would have to go to your activity monitor, which is like probably your, which is basically your task manager on if you're on Windows. And if you see kernel service running, then that basically means you are infected. So all you had to do is update it and you should get all your files back. But um, you never know. Like, it, it may or may not do it. So the next ransomware is called the Tesla or Tesla Crypt. And it basically encrypts users' files. Like most of these encrypt their, your files. And once they encrypt it, it asks for like a key so you can get it back that you have to pay to get. So most of these like ransomware is basically where it locks up your files and you have to pay to get it back. And this this thing also encrypted video games. There are over 40 video games targeted by Tesla uh, crypts, including, for example, Minecraft, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, which I've never heard of that. World of Tanks, Dragon Age, RPG Maker, and Steam. So Steam was a big one here. And the difference of all like this. And the way this one's different from all these other ones, like it accepted ransom payments in PayPal, MyCash, Bitcoin, and my and PayPal, MyCash cards. So this was a bit different because, like, PayPal could sort of like do something with the payment where they could take it back after you got the key or something. I'm not exactly sure. And basically, they change your background or your desktop background and create a file called Help to decrypt your files. And you have to basically read it and it will tell you how to do it. Like what you have to do, like pay them. And a watch screen stating you must uh, make a payment within three days. And then you will get your stuff back. But if you don't, then I'm pretty sure they say it will delete all your files. Or they move them to like a different, like they put them on like sort of a cloud. But where they have it somewhere else. And I think then you, like once the hack this, uh, malware was taken down i think you got your files back but it was kind of risky to wait so next is called crypto wall and it's, uh, classified as a trojan horse which is known for masking a virtual payload through the through the disguise of seemingly non-threatening applications or files this involves like 
threat involves. So it basically encrypts files of an infected computer in an effort to extract money for like the key to get your stuff back. And it's typically spread like all of them through emails as an attachment or from infected websites. My past virus is also known as a drive-by download. So this has happened to me before. Then I got an email that said it was from my dad, but it really wasn't. And it like it looked really weird. Like his email, like upper and lowercase, looked like it, but it really wasn't. So I'm pretty sure it was some type of virus. And it's like this virus has a pretty standard of spread. And once it gets hold of like the host computer, if like so, like say you're like an IT person or something for a company, once it gets a uh, hold of your computer, it starts like connecting to all the other ones and establishes like a network con connection to the a random server where it uploads all your like information like the IP address and your location and copies all of like really good like all the files it says it needs to copy and it puts them on there and it deletes them off your hard drive and it'll continue to do this until it finds like all the supported files it needs and until they've been copied and encrypted and where you're basically screwed until you pay them back so most of these are kind of like that so next is called C TB Locker and it was this was like the year like this so basically 2016 was the year of CTB Locker so like this was really big in 2016 I really didn't hear about too much of it I think I heard about it a bit like where it attacked hospitals or something but basically they use it to attack websites and beware CTB Locker for websites can easily replace your original index page to an infected web page so like it'll Encrypt all your document, photos, databases, and other important files and start to plant, displaying its warning on the main page of the infected websites. So like, it will just basically take your website and just flip it around and it's like basically an advertisement for their hack, sort of like say, how, why, what, how, what happened and that they have to pay it. Kind of like what our mind did with the titles and stuff. And they have to pay $150 or 100 uh, euros. Also, it lets them know, it like, it lets them see how the decryption process works and provides two keys to unlock two random files so like you can get lucky and get one of your really good files back or something. But basically, they want your money and to avoid this, you should create a backup of your operating system and most important data on your computer just so you're safe if it's like you store it on an external hard drive or something to save this. So that is basically on it and if you want me to do another video on some of these like i have to research more hacking and stuff but this is basically like this is probably a longer video like seven minutes or eight minutes but hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you have any other hacker stuff or something like that that you want me to talk about definitely comment it down below and i'll see you guys later peace out